No, because it was yeah. the 20 minute mark. Well, yeah. Well, my people will come. I'll give it a try if this shuts down the game. My people will shut it off. <laughs> um, and they're noted for that. Mark, I'm going to tell you, he's seen him do it lots of times. We're not recording. Thank you. Um, awesome. How was that? Were you able to give your <coughs> connect with your ego? Do you know what your ego feels like? Somewhat. Um, you know, for me, for a long time, because you know, I was told oh, ego was bad, ego was bad, ego was bad, 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 bad. <laughs> it was like bad. And, and then the more I studied and the more I got around people that were enlightened, you know, that had become enlightened, and they're like, what are you doing? Why are you fighting with yourself? I'm like, what are you doing? Well, you're fighting with your ego. Why are you fighting with it? And then they told me, well, who told you you had an ego? When you become enlightened, and the monks, and the... Uh, the sages and the gurus and all of those, when they they sit for years and years and meditate and years and years and sit and sit and sit and, and when becoming enlightened is understanding that your ego is mature and that you're not separated from anything at all. Um, it's only ourselves from the day we're born, we are created as separation because they named us and said you're separate from yourself. And so as we've been, I call it domesticated, uh, and that's what the monks call <coughs> domestication. We're domesticated over the years, we're trained. We're like, this is the way you're supposed to be and this is the way our lives are supposed to be. And this is the way you're supposed to think. And then when you become into this space where you're searching for God or you're searching for you, ego shows up. Because somebody told you you had an ego. And ego says you have to be right. You must be right. Everything in your life, you, you get in an argument, you're going to be right. You can never be wrong. <laughs> That's what ego says. Soul says... It is. Whatever the event or whatever is occurring, it is. So the soul, your soul is the whole of you. The whole of you is not the separate part of you. Ego is the separate part. It's the part that keeps us in, in here and we've created this separation um, to kind of protect us. Um, because of the way life, childhood, things like that have showed up and said, hey, this don't work. And if we don't, if we're not this, we're, it's not safe. It's not safe. And it, I, and I'll share this. I had a, a healing session today. Yes, I did get healing sessions ago. <laughs> because I got to this point in my experience and I've been telling Marco, I said, Marco, I'm kind of like, I'm not stuck. But there's something behind the curtain, and I just can't get there. I don't understand what it is, and I can't get there. And so I've been asking Spirit, bring me somebody that's supposed to help me. So she showed up today. <laughs> she they come in my world. She showed up, so we did a session. Um, and the thing that I didn't know what was behind the curtain, because ego, you know, I kept poking the honey and I'm uh, like, oh, oh, I don't want to look at that because ego says, oh shit, if we look at that, that's not going to be good. That's going to hurt. That's going to make you unsafe. 
so ego don't want to look behind the curtain. It's like, what's behind the curtain? You know, that's just the fear and anxiety. That's the ego. Fear and anxiety becomes in that place of ego. So when we started working and started going through it, we discovered, wow, when I was four years old, I put it into motion that it was not safe. And then being not safe, I couldn't interpret how to love. So my soul, it's like I put an imprint and blocked my soul level or my soul place and said, whoa, so is my safe here? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. We ain't doing that. No. And so as we worked through it and started using it, and she started telling me some words, and it was like triggering me, just triggering me. Um, it was a really interesting experience because I, I, I didn't realize how much, you know, even when you become more awakened and more awakened and you're expanding and maturing, and it's like, man, my ego was still four years old. And you can ask your ego, how old are you? How old is your ego? What is what is it talk? What's it talk? It's language. How old is it language? That's the thing. How old is the language? Is it a three or four or five year old? Well, are you born with it or does it develop? It develops. It, it's set into place. That's why I said somebody told you you were separate. Somebody told you you had an ego. And you didn't realize it. They may you may be interpreted in another way, but it's like that part of you that, that keeps you safe, that part of you that says, you know what, I'm this, and you're not going to change it. I'm the greatest person in the world, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> which is not a bad thing, but it, it is in that place of being right. I am right, and there's nobody else can tell me anything different, and I don't care who it is, okay? So here comes here comes a, your soul in going, hey, you know, there's an easier way to do this. No, there's not. This is the way I'm going to do it. Some people say it's being bullheaded, uh, stubborn, but that's ego. Ego says it's got to be this way or no way. Because ego is always afraid if it, and you know, we're told you got to kill your ego off. Why are you going to kill you off? Why are you going to, what happens when you say, I'm going to kill off my ego? You go into fight or flight. I want to fight. Ego don't want to die. The ego wants to become and be a part. The ego wants to be useful. The ego wants to mature. The ego wants to understand. So it's that little part in you somewhere along the way that, that discovered, oh wait, this lifetime is hard. And if I don't protect myself, I'm going to die. That part of me would die. <coughs> but in our true reality, our soul goes, but you're okay. You're eternal. You are divine. You are. But it's our soul. Our, our soul comes in and tries to keep talking to that ego. And the ego wants something to do. That's why I say, give it, breathe. Ego, you just breathe for me today. Just breathe. People say meditation. The monks will tell you. They give their ego something to do all the time. And that's all it's job. It, they, they just want something to do. And that's becoming enlightened that you realize, wait. <coughs> my ego just needs something to do. My ego wants to be a part and be whole. So if I'm going to separate it, give it something to do. Give it a toe. We would say... The ego is more judgmental, oh, yeah. and spirit is neutral or just is. It is, 
Ego will, ego is the one that beats you up. Ego is the one that beats you up. The ego is the one that, that gives, gives you evidence. Evidence, I told you so. Girl, I told you. What'd you roll up on there for? I told you. Because it's got to be right. And it's not, it, it goes in there and starts beating you, yourself up. And makes you feel, you know, it, it holds you down. But it, the soul says, wow, you did a great job. You failed. Isn't that awesome? Now what did you learn from it? And that's a concept, to turn yourself into a place where you're looking at, well, I know my ego is, is, is having this dialogue, and when it goes into that dialogue of, <coughs> of stuck beat up, you say, hey, hey Dan, I got a job for you. And the ego goes, oh, awesome. Hey, can you breathe for me? Let's breathe for a minute. And then you can come in and soul, say, soul, my soul, go into my heart space <coughs> and listen to what the heart says, the soul says, because the soul will say, yeah, let's do that. Let's check it out. Let's look at that. Because a lot of times what we fear and the ego don't want to look at and that we're running from is the exact thing that we need to look at so we can sit with it and go, wow. Let me love that. Let me look at that. Let me expand that. Because somewhere in there is the most beautiful thing that there ever was because <coughs> it is a part of me. The ego is afraid to look in the shadow self because the ego says, oh, that's not me. Uh-oh. No. Yes, it is. Every bit of it in there is you. The light, the dark, everything. Because I can use biblical and say God created us out of his own image. Well, if God created me out of his own <coughs> image, that means I'm everything. I am that light and I am that dark. The ego says no. Some teachings say ego is kind of like the devil. You know, the little devil sitting on the shoulder going, <laughs> and then you go, and you go, ah. But if we, if we get into the soul place and we go into that place, it's, it's okay. The soul says everything is okay. Any questions? Go ahead. Ask to Marco. <laughs> ask me any questions. We'll go deeper with it because um, when spirit starts flowing, it just happens. So I feel like spirit is more united. You know, we're all one, connected. Yes. An ego creates separation, saying we're not this, we're not that, we're not, you know, united. That's right. So, is it your conscience, your confidence, what you've learned throughout life, all your little lessons? Is that your ego? <coughs> no, that that's uh, it. That's part of your soul. Because your soul would see it as, as mastery. Your soul would see it as mastery. Your ego would show it, say, that makes you unsafe. So it's how you interpret those lessons. Okay. Do you understand that? Let me take. Well, it if I'm going out that door and I know something bad's up there, I'm not going to go out that door. No, you're not. And I just learned soul that. Is, yeah, because so the that's soul says. Ego. Yeah, that's not ego. The ego is the part that puts all those questions in your mind. The one that says, I'm not good enough, I'm going to fail, this isn't right. right for me, I'm better than he is. So all those judgmental, whether it's about yourself or somebody else, it's the part that destroys your spirit and who you really are. Well, if but that's your the soul, case, then over time, my ego has got smaller. Yes, because you've become all the more aware of your... Through life. You, huh? From all the little things that happen through life. That's right. Because you become you become mature and you've matured your ego, your ego, and, and coming into this spiritual space. Now, if something is outside and you know it's out there, that soul, that soul, and your inner knowing going, wait a minute. There's danger. I need to choose something different. 
I, like I need to go out that door instead of this door. So your ego's like, no, no, I'm a man, I can do it. Yeah, your your <laughs> yes, ego sir. walks out there and says, let's kick ass. Okay, okay. I'm gonna whip that, <laughs> I'm gonna kick that ass. I <laughs> your soul says, oh, let me honor that, and I can go out this way. I don't have to be in confrontation with this. Now, don't get me wrong, the soul ain't a wuss. You know, the soul ain't a wuss. The soul, if it does have to go into confrontation, it's going to go into it very consciously. It's not going to come in from a very fear base. It's going to come in from a place of love and compassion. It's like, yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I fear no evil. So I'm going to walk through it consciously, not in a place of fear. That's the soul. Now the ego goes into it as a place of fear or, you know what, I'm all with that fucker's ass. Excuse my language. It will go into a place of that. Or the ego will say, um, let's go the opposite because the ego can go opposite. Oh, if you go if, if you go into that place, you're 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 gonna be destroyed. You're gonna be beat up. Something bad's gonna you know that it goes into a negative space. Um, ego will do this, especially if you're going into a place where you're. Let's see. Let's say Ama. Do you know who Ama is? Ama is a of the hugging saint. She comes to Houston every so often. And so you got invited to go to that. And you're getting ready to go. And all these really weird things start happening. That's ego. All these weird thoughts start happening. Because ego, ego is going to fight. And ego is going to show you where it's not mature at. In that process when you start going into higher energies or higher vibration or you start letting the soul come in and like you said we you know you sit and meditate and you and man you can only imagine when you sit and really quiet or you sit and look at somebody and you're just staring and loving them and you have no thought process and you're not being distracted by anything ego shows up ego says oh my god i got an itch right here <laughs> Ego does. Ego says, oh my God, I gotta be up in their business over there. What are they talking about? They're talking about me. I know they are. And you can't, you, you get distracted. Ego will set up distractions. And you know, it can be exterior and it can be interior. When you go into that more advanced level, you start looking at your whole life and watch how your story plays out and your ego will play out and give you, like, like you will project out and keep telling yourself. That's what I actually I realized today. Oh my God, I've been, for the last couple of months, I've been having this, it's been about me and not about you because my world, everybody in my world that shows up in my world, it's about me because I'm, I'm, my world projects back at me what it is that I am and it shows me and so I will start having clients that have these things and I'll see the theme and it takes sometimes the ego don't want to see it ego don't want to I don't want to pay attention to that because it's not safe but eventually after I get to work on it and keep working on it and keep working on it I get to see what's behind it and then I realized, wait a minute, it was that it? <laughs> because ego says, oh my God, it's going to hurt. If I go through there, or if I deal with that, it's going to hurt. I'm not going to be safe. Ego loves that one. Ego will use that one against you every time. It's not safe. you got to be angry. You're going to be ate up. The lion's going to come and chew you up. And then once you get through it, and you go through it, and you go, for real? That was it? That's all it was? Ego's the one that lies to us. Ego's the one that will take us out of... The ego withholds from us. Our ego will withhold. It's being out of integrity. 